Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. A lovely opportunity to speak to you both. Maybe you could just kick off with a brief introduction to this second season. Uh, where can we find your characters as, as we go into this next part of the story? Uh, I'll start with you, Troy. Right where we left oh. off the first season. The second season. <laughs> Basically, you, you, you find out more information about them, and then the second season picks up the very next day but then we start to learn that wait something else is going on and these people know more than than what they're leading on to yeah we knew all along there were two different control groups they were we were measuring we were collecting data we were analyzing um and now you get to see us or at least my character manipulate the situation just a little bit more so you uh yeah it just the stakes are raised and and season two is is uh is everything you loved about season one just higher stakes now? Yeah, it's it's almost like you know what I, I, I kind of um, compare this to. It's just like you know you, you, you're driving on the freeway and you see the sign that says 65. That's that's the speed limit, right? This season, you have to hurry up and make it to your appointment. So let's let's step on the gas a little more, and that's exactly what the season is. It's 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 revving up that that RPM a little more. The stakes are a little higher. Um, the situations are, are are different. You're dealing with um, a, a lot of um, um, a, a lot of issues, social issues that kids are dealing with now. Um, and, and it's just pushing that envelope a, a little more because of where we are as a society right now. You know, we're able to use our voice and this show is providing us to hear those cries that these young kids are going through. Um, and it, 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 it's, it's a good thing that it's coming from a male perspective as well, because, you know, usually when you think of boys and when you think of men, you have this hard exterior that, you know, nothing seems to bother us, you know, and now that we are living in, 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 in a world that we're free to express how we feel emotionally, um, it's not looked upon or frowned upon anymore. You know what I mean? Um, and it's, 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 it's more, f we're more free to express how we feel. And especially in this, in this show in season two, we have that focus a lot on these guys and it's tearing down that exterior or that perception that we, as men, we hold it in and you know, we, we, we have to live up to this macho attitude. Now, you know, you don't, you don't see that too much now in, in, in season two. And I'm, and I'm so glad that they put forth that effort to, to, to make that, you know, uh, come out and pop on 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 page in terms to, you know, seeing that on screen. So, yeah, I love it. And how do you see each of your characters? Because you definitely get the sense that you've got contrasting ways of, you know, how comfortable you are with this kind of social experiment that you're part of. Um, so how do you see each of those? And, and what was it like also working alongside Rachel Griffiths, um, obviously as the kind of mastermind or the, the one pulling all the puppet strings? Yeah, I think you really have to take a step back and 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 try to understand w what's really at stake here and what are you really after. Um, I think I think from my character's perspective, he's after he's after data. He's after information. He he wants to know, you know, what happens when when all of the other comforts of life are stripped away from somebody. Like, what do you do? What happens when you don't have a phone in your hand? What happens when you don't have mom and dad to, to make sure you have three meals a day? What happens when you're, when you're, you know, marooned on an Island with, with complete strangers? Um, yeah. I mean, I, 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 my, my character is very interested in that. And, and yeah, David is too. I just, it's just, I don't know if I would be able to allow myself to be a part of something that was um, so devious uh, in, in, in regards to the stakes and the consequences. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, 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 it's just going to be interesting to see because in Gretchen's mind, is it, is it, is it necessarily wrong? Right. You know, she, she's not questioning. I don't think she's questioning the morality of what she's doing. She's questioning the outcome. You know, she's, she's a, a, a by the nose researcher and she wants to get to, to the bottom line of what she proposed is a new society. You know what I mean? And how do we get there? How do we elevate 
us as a, a, a species and how did we get to where we are? How can we improve where we need to go? Um, and this is her way of of visioning that. Is it wrong to her? I don't think so. Is it wrong to the viewer? Absolutely. You know what I mean? But, you know, some of the most successful people in the world that we live in today, we would look at their tactics on how they got to where they are. But the outcome is brilliant. So how do you kind of compare what's wrong and what's right in the sense of this show? You know, um, morally conflicted. Yeah, Dean is um, he has kids. He has a family um, and he's bringing his personal life into his 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 work space. And to see some of the things that are going on, you know, as as a parent and as a provider and as a, you know, a, a upholding citizen, you know, he, he feels some of the things, some of the ways and some of the, the aspects are wrong. So he 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 wants some answers. And I think season two will supply that for him. I think that's my time. It's been an absolute pleasure to speak to you both. Can't wait for everyone else to get stuck into season two. Thanks so much. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.